if you're thinking of starting YouTube or if you are um, a YouTuber already and you feel frustrated and stuck because like I have been feeling this past one week, then you might just find some of those tips very helpful. So number one, don't take every advice you hear on YouTube. There are a thousand and one YouTube mentors and lots of those persons want to give you the impression that they've been there, they've done that, they know exactly what they're talking about. And if only you can follow these tips, then you're going to become a YouTube success. Well, mm. what I can say is that is not always entirely true because I think people tell you what you want to hear just so that you can keep watching the videos. But then what's even more interesting is a lot of times these YouTube mentors have programs and courses and resources that they would sell to you. And if only you can buy these, then they can give you inside tips that will really help you succeed. So what am I saying? So the real tips you need to succeed on YouTube, you probably not find, you know, just lying around across uh, every uh, YouTube video that says, I'm going to give you top tips to help you succeed. And truth is, there are some mentors who are genuinely good and would be very willing to contribute to your growth and development. And I've benefited immensely from some tips I have got from some of them. I'm not making any recommendations, but just so we don't lump them all in one batch. You know, I'm talking uh, nicknaming uh, Brian G, Darrell Eves, Roberto Blake, uh, Sonny Lenadosi, and of course, the caffeinated blogger. <laughs> And, uh, you know, a few others. So there are lots of other guys, you know, YouTube gurus, and they just want to show you how to succeed, but really, they have no idea what they're talking about. So moving on to lesson number two. If you're doing YouTube search, ignore the adverts, and they're usually the first uh, few search results that you find, but you look right under, it has advert, advert, advert written right under, uh, don't, don't click on those. They are not exactly the greatest content on YouTube. And I've also come to learn that sometimes the best videos that will solve your problems are not the top results that YouTube is showing to you. Sometimes it might be on the next page or somewhere down the, the page. So you might want to be very careful if you're searching just to be sure you're getting the right stuff that you really need. Lesson number three, start small. So I've heard this a lot from uh, lots of very uh, sincere YouTube mentors and they will say, you know what, start with what you have. And when I started my YouTube channel, I did start recording on my phone and lots of persons still do that. And it's a very good thing so that if you find yourself, you know, in this position at any point when you feel you can no longer go on, you will not have acquired lots of equipment that you have no need for. Do your research just to be sure that you really need that stuff before you get it. Lesson number four, have fun. I mean like have lots and lots of fun. So back then I wanted to look official. I wanted to sound, you know, super, super corporate. I did not want to give any impression that I was a real human being with emotions and you know, all of that. And so it made it quite difficult for people to connect with. And so if you're gonna do YouTube and you're planning to do this for a very long time, then my advice would be, hey, make sure you're having fun doing it. If you ain't fun, don't do it. Lesson number five, start already. You know, believe it or not, it took me a large number of years before I could finally make up my mind to start YouTube. And I knew it was a good thing and I could see myself on the other side of the screen trying to share my knowledge, my experiences, my sentiments, and you know, trying to contribute to making the world a better place. But you know what? I could not do that for a very long time because I was afraid. What if people didn't like me? What if, you know, what if I failed? And yeah, so I've tried it. I'm here and... Um, I can say it's been a very good run and how are you going to know if you're going to fail? How are you going to know if you're going to like it or not? So start already and if it works, it works. If it fails, it fails. But know this, if you don't try, you would never know. Tip number six, follow what works. So when you're starting off and you're trying out different kinds of contents, which it's exactly what I did and what I think lots of other persons would want to do because you want to make videos based on interests that you have. and if you're getting really good feedback on any kind of content, then that's what you need to double down on and you know take further actions on. So you don't need to keep acting on something if it's not working. And that is why I am making uh, changes to my YouTube journey, you know, starting today, because I've come to realize that a lot of the stuff I was doing in the past 
have not really worked. So there's really no sense in uh, continuing to do stuff that isn't giving you the results that you need. Tip number seven, support other small YouTubers. And this I think was uh, one of the greatest mistakes I made uh, starting YouTube because then you know, I, I saw YouTube as that place where you go dump your content and walk away and then I'd go make videos, come to YouTube, post and then I walk away. And I wouldn't even watch my own videos, I wouldn't even like them. I think it was uh, Sonny Leonard Dozy who taught me that when you post a video, you have to watch your own video and react to it. You know, give yourself the first comment and kind of you know, give yourself a confidence boost. But, um, so I started trying that. And yeah, you should not only stop at you know, supporting yourself and trying to promote your content, you should also try to help other persons out because one of the greatest growth strategies in YouTube are collaborations. So if there are not other persons who are talking about your content, chances are nobody's gonna hear about them. And then if you're the only person talking about your own content, it's like, you know, uh, putting up, uh, making a tweet and then you're retweeting your own tweet or you put a post um, and then you're sharing your own post over and over and over again on your timeline, that's not gonna go far. But when you have other persons share them, then there are new audiences that get in touch with your content. And if they like it, then it keeps growing from there. So find other small YouTubers just like yourself and support them, you know, become friends, acquaintances, even fall in love. And in those past few months, I have made very good friends here on YouTube. And I think one friend that has warmed my heart so much, you know, my international love. <laughs> and my cousin, because we're, we're just neighbors, would be this lady over here. Explore, explore, you should go check out our channel. I'll leave a link in the description and you can do this as a final favor to me. And if you're not subscribed to our channel, please do. She's been a great, great... Uh, piece of motivation to me and to this channel since we met. So make friends like this who are gonna support you through thick and thin and the more friends you have supporting you and the more persons you support, the faster your channel is going to grow. There's a saying we have in Africa that if you want to go fast, you should go alone. But if you want to go far, you should go together with other people. And that is the core of this advice that I am giving now. So if you want to go far in YouTube, then make sure that you go along with other small YouTubers like you. And together, y'all are gonna grow and, you know, probably just make a bunch of money, become famous, I don't know, whatever reasons for which you have joined YouTube. Lesson number eight, and this I think is super, super important. You can have a very great message and no one is gonna know and no one is gonna find out because you create your content, you put them, you know, right in there. No matter how beautiful your, your message is, if nobody's talking about your message, it's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to go uh, far. And I had this experience because when I started off YouTube for the first maybe six months or more, I would not promote my contents. I would not even share my video on any other platform or even with people I knew, not with family members, not with friends, because I believe that if your message is good enough, people are going to find it because it's good. And that has been proven to be a lie over and over and over again. So. If people can find you, <laughs> then nobody's gonna watch your stuff. Besides, there are millions of YouTubers and there are crazy amounts of videos that are uploaded on a daily basis. So yours is just one of the tomatoes in the basket. And what are the chances somebody will find your stuff by chance? Considering the fact that YouTube is making recommendations to people based on what they have watched in the past. So if nobody is watching your content, then nobody's gonna wanna watch it because chances of you getting found is based on the number of persons who are already watching your stuff. So now take this analogy. If you were making content that are just unique, you know, great message, you know, a very unique content and all that, then chances are it's not in one of the more profitable niches because the more profitable niches are super saturated already. You join the mix, then you know all of the persons who've been in that niche in the past five years, 10 years, they would probably be way, way ahead of you and you're going to need to work extra, extra hard to get noticed. And that leads me to the next lesson that I learned. Number nine, there is a YouTube God. And that YouTube God rewards sacrifice, efforts, you know, like the kind of efforts that nearly kills you. 
daredevil level efforts. That's the kind of uh, stuff the YouTube God feeds on. So the more creative, the more intense the, the content you're making, the more sacrifice you make, not in terms of buying gears or investing in adverts and all those kinds of stuff. I mean, in being creative, you know, uh, thinking up stuff that no one has thought about before and finding new ways to do things that have been done in the past. And then you might just be in luck because the YouTube God, he blesses who he wants to bless and it leaves all the others out in the mud to die. So don't take my word for it. Now think about the Dad How Do I YouTube channel which just started a few months back and became the fastest growing YouTube channel ever. You know, gaining millions of subscribers in under 60 days. And the funny thing is the Dad How Do I channel is not exactly creating uh, fantastic uh, videos, excellent stuff, you know, expensive gear, beautiful, nothing, you know, just, just a guy trying to show young persons how to do stuff. But then that's a new concept. And you know, after I came across uh, that channel, so I wanted to see if others were gonna copy what he was doing. And of course, there was someone immediately created a mom, how do I, you know, bro, how do I, sis, how do I, everything, how do I? And right now, if you did a how do I channel, chances are nobody's gonna find it. There are lots of persons who started this already. So if someone else came up with a new concept, so most of the videos that the dad, how do I YouTube channel are creating are not stuff that are not already on YouTube, but wanted to give all of this from a perspective of a dad trying to educate the children and that was different and that was unique, right? So as far as you're making content that are unique, that are rich and that are entertaining, chances are the YouTube God is just going to bless you from on high and all will be well. I mean, you know, that kind of stuff. Yes. And finally, lesson number 10, promote your videos across platforms. And I already shared about how I would not promote my videos across platforms because I felt people had to come to YouTube and find them and watch them if they thought they were useful and if they didn't think they were useful they, were, they should probably just leave me alone and that wasn't a very good move so know this there are two things and I'm only referring to one I don't mean go to YouTube and share your video across uh, you know every group and send people messages in the DM and beg them to go watch your YouTube da 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 nah I don't encourage that and what I do encourage is if there are persons you know you know, maybe they're friends or colleagues who might be interested in the kind of videos you make. You can invite them to come subscribe to your channel and to check out your video and, you know, hopefully subscribe to the channel. You know, that's what I encourage. And that way, if they check out your channel and they are truly interested in your content, then they might want to subscribe and they will stay. But you wouldn't want lots of people or going to your YouTube channel, watching your video for a few seconds and clicking off that will kill your YouTube channel very fast and I don't encourage that. And I've tried that and it really messed up my stats. So how do you promote across platforms? First, uh, if you have a website, then you might want to put up uh, all of your videos on your website and then you have a blog or something else. The ideal thing is if there are platforms that accept videos like LinkedIn, like Facebook, like Instagram, it would be really silly for you to just keep throwing your links in there. They won't let that fly. You know, people are not gonna find those links. But then if you put up uh, your, you know, complete videos, maybe not all of your videos, or you make uh, trailers for your videos and you put them up on all of the other platforms, persons who listen to your message and they feel they might be interested in all the stuff that you have to talk about might want to go to YouTube and check out your videos and they might want to subscribe. And I think that's a lot better way to promote your content across platforms rather than just uh, throwing in uh, links here and there. That's something you really should avoid. And if there are those platforms where you do uh, watch for watch, like for like, comment for comment, sub for sub, all those kinds of relationships between YouTubers or, you know, I personally would not advise that because yes, I have tried that in the past and it totally sucks. It's going to mess up your stats because people just want to show that they viewed 
your content and so they're not going to watch the whole thing you know and uh, they'll probably just hear a few seconds like the video come back and request that you pay back and that is not growth you want to have real people who interact with your content who like your content who share your videos who comment on them and that is how you grow on youtube 